LG has never been afraid of being weird. The company's back catalogue includes bendable phones, modular phones, ticker tape displays, aerial gesture wizardry, and earlier this year, its wacky dual screen add on for the LG V50. Now LG's launching a new model at IFA 2019, the LG G8 X ThinQ. This is an updated, upgraded take on the G8 that we reviewed earlier in the spring, and it goes hand in glove with the updated second generation LG dual screen add-on. So this, in a strange roundabout way, is LG's answer to the foldable phone. And boy is this thing just about as weird as anything else from the company in recent years. Stick around and subscribe for more from IFA 2019, and we'll dive in. First, I'll hit you with the basics. In a lot of ways, the G8X is your typical 2019 Android smartphone. 6.4 inch OLED display, Snapdragon 855, 6 gigs plus 128 gigs, two cameras, 4000 milliamp hours, water resistance, wireless charging. Otherwise, not a whole lot to say about the hardware of the G8X. It looks like a phone, it's metal and glass, it feels like a phone in the hand, it's a phone. Since the standard G8's air gesture support has gone away, the G8X manages to trim down the screen notch to a smaller dewdrop cutout, which is a lot more palatable, and the audio has been upgraded too, with balanced stereo output. There's also an in-screen fingerprint scanner, which worked well in my brief time with the phone. But you probably don't really care about that stuff. You probably care about how the G8X fits into the wacky new LG dual screen add-on. And I say add-on because LG hasn't decided if it's going to ship this in the box with the G8X, it says that'll be up to the carriers. Anyway, like we saw from the V50 a few months back, you snap the phone to the dock and it turns into this sort of rudimentary foldable phone. This isn't exactly the same accessory that the V50 had, however. The hinge has been upgraded, it's now smoother to rotate, and it can be stopped anywhere within the full 360 degrees. The second screen is bigger and now fully symmetrical, and the front, which by the way is a total fingerprint magnet, also has this small always-on display panel showing you the time and notification icons. We're already a minute or two in, so let's get to the first really weird thing about the G8X and the dual screen. You see this notch here in the main phone display? It's here, obviously, to house the front-facing camera. But this notch in the second screen? Well, it's just a notch. It's there for symmetry, I guess. No cameras or sensors behind it. It's pretty hilarious to see LG doing this as other companies work tirelessly on ways to remove display cutouts from their phones. Anyway, plugging the G8X to the dual screen turns this otherwise rather dull phone into something pretty unique. The multitasking opportunities for a clamshell device with twice the screen real estate as a regular phone are interesting to say the least, and since LG is using Android's built-in multi-display APIs, in theory you shouldn't run into any major app compatibility problems. That said, it definitely takes some time to wrap your head around what is effectively using two phones that are joined at the hip. A nifty four-finger gesture can nudge apps between the two displays. LG also has this control panel to let you spread a single app over both screens, a little jarring considering the giant hinge in the middle, but potentially useful. Or you can mirror a single app across both displays. What's more, by disabling one of the screens, you can essentially turn the dual screen into a glorified kickstand. LG also has its own custom browser called Whale, which can allow you to easily juggle tabs across both displays while viewing multiple pages side by side. LG's keyboard software too can transform the whole package into a comically tiny little laptop, or thanks to the LG gamepad feature you can dedicate the whole second screen to a game controller, with button presses mapped to taps or swipes for apps that don't support physical controls. Nice idea, but it was a little buggy on the early firmware here. So these concepts aren't as ridiculous as they might first seem, and there's definitely potential to this thing, though obviously the trade-off is a far bulkier device in your pocket compared to a phone with a truly foldable display. Besides, since there's no extra battery in the dual screen, expect a significant battery life hit when it's plugged in, since the 4000 mAh cell has to power two 6.4-inch panels. Overall though, LG software does a decent job of managing the transition between the larger and the smaller form factor. The firmware itself is based on Android 9 Pie still, and given LG's dismal record for platform updates, don't hold your breath for that Android 10 OTA anytime soon. The company has at least given its interface a facelift with the new LG UX 9.0, which let's be generous here and say it's heavily inspired by Samsung's One UI. 
There are of course more dubious uses of the LG G8X and dual screen besides gaming, multitasking and productivity. The dual screen selfie shooting mode lets you hold the dual screen out and see yourself in the frame as someone else takes your photo, and that's fine, but obviously the big trade off here is quality. You need to use the weaker selfie camera for your photo, which kind of defeats the point of involving another human being. Whether with one screen or two though, the LG G8X does offer some new photo features, though it's definitely behind the curve for a flagship camera with only two rear sensors, standard and ultra-wide. The ultra-wide can now zoom out even further for an optional fisheye effect that has a little bit more distortion but captures a really unique field of view. And there's a new stabilization mode called Steadicam, and a dedicated video mode for taking ASMR videos, because of course there is. The camera overall seems decent, much like the original LG G8, but we'll reserve judgement until we get a review device in to play with. LG is continuing to focus on its strength with moving pictures, however, with the new 4K time-lapse mode along with other video enhancements. So like anything new and unusual, the LG G8X and the dual screen are easy to make fun of. Whether this phone is a good product or not is going to have a lot to do with the execution, and that's something that's not easy to judge in just half an hour or so with the phone in a briefing. At the very least, it's LG back to being wacky and inventive, and after a couple of years of pretty boring LG smartphones, that's something that I am very much here for. That's it for now, stay tuned and subscribe for more from IFA 2019 in Berlin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.